welcome back to talking about mental health. You know it. And today we're going to talk about 20 um, signs that you have an anxiety disorder. Um, okay, got my notes right here. You know. Number one, excessive worry. You worry about your health, you worry about your family, you worry about your friends, you worry about worrying, you worry about sleeping, you worry about how the weather's going to be like when you wake up in the morning, you literally worry about everything, okay? Um, that's a huge sign. Number two, you have problems sleeping. You have problems falling asleep, maybe staying asleep, um, nightmares, um, feeling paralyzed in your sleep. These all could be signs that you have an anxiety disorder. Number three, irrational fears. Maybe you have a fear of um, doing a presentation at um, at work, or maybe you ha um, you worry that you're going to mess up or something like that, and you're just kind of ruminating about it. Or maybe you have a fear of crossing a bridge, and that bridge um, leads to another part of town that maybe you want to go to, but because you're so afraid of crossing the bridge, you just you avoid it all together. Number four, muscle tension. So your muscles kind of feel really tight and, you know. Number five, chronic indigestion. A lot of people that have anxiety have acid reflux. Um, it's a common one. Um, and having a lot of, let's just say, gas. Um, whether it's irritable bowel syndrome or acid reflux, like I said, Etc. We can have a lot of digestive problems. Number six, stage fright. Um, so having uh, fears of just being in front of people, being around people, being the center of attention, um, etc. Number seven, self-consciousness. This kind of goes along with um, number six, which stage fright and kind of some, some social issues. Um, number eight, panic. Um, you, your heart races. Your mind starts, it feels like it starts spinning, the walls are going to cave in on you, um, it's hard to breathe, you, you have chest pain, um, maybe you start to feel a little bit numb and tingly, um, and it kind of just feel, you feel your stomach kind of start to get all fluttery. We all kind of felt some of those um, feelings before, or nervousness. Um, some of us have experienced a panic attack which um, maybe I'll talk about in a later video. Number nine, flashbacks. Flashbacks are like the thoughts of um, something unpleasant. Um, normally it's a traumatic experience that someone has had, so this is normally in the past, um, hence back. So a flashback is normally when you get a thought and it makes the person very, very anxious, okay? Number 10, perfectionism. You must have everything be exactly this way, that way. And some of the things that you can be able to tell if you're a perfectionist is that you are a major control freak. You know, you're maybe working on a project and you're like, no, no I gotta fix this, I gotta fix it. That's, that's not right. Or you have a hard time letting people do other jobs, other roles. For example, you may be working in a classroom and you have to do a group project and maybe someone is coloring in something or writing something and you start to get anxious because you're like, okay, no, I want to I take over that because they're not doing it well enough or you have fears. Perfectionism comes with a lot of fears, fears of failure, fear of um, making mistakes, lots of stuff like that. Um, number 11, compulsive behaviors. As many of you know, or maybe some of you know, I have OCD, I struggle with compulsive behaviors, I struggle with checking, I struggle with um, sometimes when I wash my hands, getting away from the sink because I'll sit there and I'll just keep washing my hands. And it's not about the germs um, that I feel like I'm washing away, it's more of the unwanted thoughts that are in my mind that keep going and going and going. Those who have OCD or just anxiety in general, you know what I'm talking about. Um, even stuff like when I'm drinking out of, I don't know, a cup <laughs> and you know I just have like I just have like this compulsion just start chewing on the straw I have ever since I was little I've always just anyways um, number 12 self-doubt you second guess yourself triple second guess yourself etc you just 
don't believe that you did it right the first time and you just you don't believe in yourself. So you have to do it again, check it again, whatever you have to do, most likely you have to do it again because you don't believe that you did it right. Number 13, dissociation. What is dissociation, Janae? I have no idea what that is. Dissociation is when you can feel out of your body, you can feel like disconnected and you can feel numb. You can feel like things around you are cartoon-like or um, fuzzy looking or funny looking. They're not, um, they're distorted. That's how it looks, it looks distorted. It looks not normal, okay? Um, number 14, difficulty with concentration. Many of us who have anxiety, we struggle to get our homework done or tests or anything like that because it's like we have to focus and start mind is like <laughs> that it's thinking of so many things and all the worries and all the obsessions and all the did I do this right did I do that right the perfectionism voice you know what I mean um, all of that spinning around at once it makes it really hard for us to actually concentrate and be able to get done what we need to get done um, so if you think that you're struggling with homework and like you're not finishing your homework on time or your classwork and whatnot then you know this is a huge sign like, okay, this is something that may be a problem for me. Um, number 15, trouble with appetite. Um, so if you have anxiety, nervousness, you feel really nervous, so a lot of the time you're probably going to lose your appetite um, because you have, you know, all that fluttering going on in your stomach, all the nervousness, you just, a lot of times you just, you can't eat. Or when you try to eat, it just, you feel like you're going to become sick. Um, number 16, obsessive thinking, um, ruminating, thinking about something basically over and over and over and over and over all day, something that I tremendously struggle with, um, thinking of whether or not I locked the door or not, thinking um, of whether or not, for example, I might take a test, and a lot of my fears had to do with um, not whether or not I got the answer right, but whether or not I bubbled in the answer that I wanted to bubble in. Does that make sense? So I would be number one, and I would bubble in A. But I had fears that I would accidentally bubble in C. So I always had to go back and check to make sure that I bubbled in the answer that I thought was correct. So after I was finished with the test, I was always worried. I was always thinking obsessively, like, oh my gosh, what if I did this or what if I did that? And it was hard for me to get my mind off of it. Um, that's what obsessive thinking is. You never stop thinking about it, basically. Number 17, procrastination. If you struggle with procrastination, you probably have anxiety. Let me tell you why. Because a lot of people procrastinate because, number one, they just, they know that they're going to have to get to it eventually, and they know that it's going to make them anxious. So if I know that I have to do my homework, and I'm struggling with my OCD, you know, like, the more that I put it off, the more relaxed I'm going to become. But I know, like, once I start doing it, I'm going to get anxious and I'm going to become stressed. Um, so that's a huge reason. You either are really fixated and worried about everything and constantly doing stuff like you're a workaholic, you're really, really productive, and you never seem to be able to stop and relax. Or you're just kind of lazy and you don't really do anything because you're, you have that fear. Okay? Number 18, speaking of fears, fear of failure. This can also fall along with... Um, perfectionism, etc. Um, so some of you, I'm sure, know have some people out there that have a huge fear of failing. They constantly um, are working or constantly. There's nothing wrong with improving, um, but they obsess about it. You know what I mean? Um, number nineteen, having difficulty adjusting and transition transitioning to. Um, just with change, you know, like going into the new school year or moving or going off somewhere on a, I don't know, an adventure or a journey or even just going on vacation, anything with um, being in an unfamiliar place and not knowing, there's uncertainty, uncertainty there. Um, people with anxiety tend to have trouble adjusting to that. Um, number 20, last one, self-harm is suicidal ideation. Many people who have anxiety also have depression, um, and a lot of people who have OCD um, self-harm. So, what is self-harm or self-injury? It can be when you intentionally um, 
cut, burn, pinch, physically hurt yourself in any way to try to remove the pain or to try to uh, maybe become numb or um, any way to kind of cope with the emotions that you're feeling. Uh, many people do it for many reasons. Um, so I said I usually struggle with um, just kind of thinking about it um, or wishing that they weren't alive or wishing that um, maybe some car could just kind of run them over. Um, there's a whole bunch of kinds of thoughts that people have. But a lot of people have these, especially people with anxiety disorders. There's many different types. Maybe I'll do a video on that later as well. Um, but I'm not saying that if you have all 20 of these signs, you have an anxiety disorder. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a clinician. This is not something where I'm saying if you have all these signs, you officially have an anxiety disorder. Um, that is something for you to go talk to your doctor about. Um, but if you do have these signs, I want you to realize, okay, what can I do to deal with this? Talking to a doctor, a parent, school counselor, a therapist, and try to work on these. Um, and it's gonna take some time. It's not an overnight fix. So really try to do your best, and I hope that this was informative for you. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you stay tuned to the other videos. Bye, guys.